morning. Uh, this is Farmer Gord. A lot of people are curious about the milking uh, because mm, I milk at hours that are not particularly uh, amenable to people visiting. So I thought I'd make a little video just to show you a little bit about how we milk our cows. Uh, used to do it by hand, but no longer. We uh, enjoy using the machine. And honestly, for a whole bunch of reasons, it does a better job. We'll get into that another time, but I wanted to share this. So here we go, there's the cows. You got Frida here and Bison over there. And of course, they're showing you their best sides. There's Frida's full udder and Bison's full udder. There we go. So let's switch the cameras so that the, uh, the cows are front and center. We'll turn the milking machine on. Okay, so here's me. I'll try and stay in the circle. But uh, move me up here. Oh, look at that. I can move around. <laughs> That's great. Gotta love technology. Okay, so Frida's full udder and Bison's full udder. And look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. So Frida is a brown Swiss. Brown Swiss. Uh, and she might have a little jersey in her too. And Bison is a purebred shorthorn. Uh, you can see that there's a bit of difference. Uh, you might notice more difference in person, but... Let's get going. Let's turn the, the milking machine on. Now I have already, I have already cleaned bison. So you're not gonna see me clean bison because I've already done it. She's all set, all ready to put the machine on. So let's try and do it. I'll be back. Okay, so we're, we're on. There's the machine. You got the claw on there. <coughs> this here, this here's the claw. Vacuum is created in the, in each of these inflations and they squeeze the teeth very gently and you can hear it's on, it's off, and it's on, and it's off like that. Uh, not like a vacuum cleaner, it takes a break to let the milk flow down. If it didn't take a break, the milk wouldn't flow. So, uh, comes down here into the bowl. Now you'll see that one, one of these is not on, this one here. It because bison actually only has three teats that uh, that let milk out, so she's a three teeter. And milk comes down into the bowl through the tube through the filter. This here is an inline filter, so the milk gets filtered here into the bucket. We got clean milk, clean milk in the bucket, and then we end up dumping it in the bulk tank clean, and it gets cold. And it's clean the whole way. It's clean immediately. And of course, the shorthorn is a clean looking animal. They don't take much to get them clean. They stay clean. Frida, on the other hand, well, she's a, a little harder to get clean. You can see under there, she's got quite a bit of mud and stuff on her teats. Takes quite a bit more work to get these uh, sort of more modern types of cows clean and I'm not sure if you can tell from this this video here but but Frida Frida's udder hangs lower look where it hangs on her knees it the teeth dangle below this joint whereas if you look at bison her teeth are about an inch or two so uh, that's it and you can see bison is done bison's done down here let's get in there big time there we go and you can see the udder Udder has deflated quite a lot. You see Frida, Frida's udder is still big. I haven't milked her yet, I'll milk her after. We're just using one bucket these days. So look at that. No more milk flowing down in. We're all set. This bucket has about four, four or five gallons of milk in it now. So there you go, that's it. That's the milking, we'll take it off and then we'll dump it in the tank. I hope that satisfies your curiosity for today. What it means for you is you get clean milk that is put in the, the bulk tank. It gets cold super fast. It gets cold faster than even I can uh, believe. It is faster than what the the, uh, the FDA requires of commercial dairies. We can get our milk down to temperature in about 20 minutes in our bulk tank with the volume of milk we have. Uh, it's just a fantastic setup. Uh, the cows are doing well. Um, now this is a temporary setup. You can see it's just a, 
just a wooden barn, wooden structure. Uh, they just got a headlock up there. This is not uh, not our permanent setup, but it works. We can do it. We keep it clean, uh, and I'm pleased. And you know I'm pleased because the milk. The milk shows up in your bottles just as clean and pure as if the calf was going to drink it. In fact, to be honest, it's much cleaner than if the calf was going to drink it because the calf, well, the calves don't, uh, they don't clean the udder off first. Anyways, there you go. Enjoy the milk.